My friend Alan and I, we used to make films. Well, or try to at least. That is until Alan had something of an existential crisis and joined the Peace Corps. Well, I'm not letting that stop me. I'm going to find a new Alan. Anybody going to show up? Finally. Hello. Hi. I'm Robert. Here to audition for the part of New Allen. Great. Follow me. I'm Stanley's Marks. I saw the posting on LA Casting, um, but there were no sides attached. Is this improv or is it a cold read? And what's with the dude back here? Oh, that's Allen. Well, old Allen. Stand next if you can. I want to do visual comparison. Yeah, you might do. The one thing I have to ask is, why do you call yourself a filmmaker if you have yet to produce or direct a single film? Oh, I see your acting credits. I'm an actor? Yeah, th that's why I'm here, to audition for the role of new Alan. V what is this exactly? It's, it's not even like you want me to play a role. You want me to actually be that guy. Well, no, I'm more of a replacement. Really. You see, Alan, well, old Alan, had something of an existential crisis when he found he was adopted. Opened a floodgate of emotional trauma, and he went and joined the Peace Corps. Now, I need a new film partner. I produce, I don't direct. I need the Joel to my Ethan Cohen, the Beatles, my George Martin, the salt to my pepper. We used to make films taste good together, and I need my salt. Okay. Um, my agent's calling. I gotta go. Agent? You see, is she a literary agent? I could really use an N with a lit agent right now. Actually, I don't have an agent. My phone's not ringing. I'm just trying to get out of here. Without ending up like that guy. What'd you do to this poor guy anyway? You threw him in a pit? Starved him? Made him put on lotion and dance to the Bay City Rollers in his skin? Whatever. I don't need it. I've dealt with enough loons in this business. Robert? Your name isn't even Alan. How wants to take you seriously? Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Uh, my girlfriend has the address, so if you even try to chloroform me... Fine, well, good riddance then. Go back to acting or whatever it is you do. Psycho. Doctor, what kind of medicine you practice, Dr. Thomas? <laughs> I'm a retired professor of uh, a critical film and cinema theory at the uh, University of Southern California. I... I don't practice medicine. Oh. But can you practice medicine, or is that not allowed? Well, I do not have a degree in medicine, so no. You see, because doctors being rich, no other rich doctors, so I was wondering if you maybe get in touch with your uh, fellow colleagues and perhaps we can raise money for a future. I, I was a professor. Now, now, now two things. Um, first, I'm not rich. Uh, that's the joy of academia. And then two, I'm here to collaborate as a director, not to help you do your job as a producer. Now, if you'll look at my resume, you'll see I, I, I'm extremely qualified in the film. Look, I, I, I directed a critically acclaimed festival award-winning film essay chronicling the post-war Romanian auteur Gustav Kuslevic. Yes, and, and, and his break from the traditional directors in the pre-awakening era of cinema. Oh, and it won a notable mention at Cannes. Really? Yes. Well, tell me more. Well, it's an important film. We, we, we tried to look at how his early life influenced no. the... Cannes. What was it like? What were the after parties like? What kind of about they serve? You know, I like Stella Artois and all, but... Alan and I once went to a film festival. Didn't end great. We had to leave early. But all I saw was Stella. Stella, Stella, What Stella. the hell are you even talking about? It's reminiscing, I guess. But in any case, uh, what is your first name, Dr. Thomas? Uh, Tom? Tom Thomas? That's a little redundant, no? Well, it's Larry Thomas. I, I require my students to address me by that first name, along with my, uh, my title. I, uh, look, I, I believe I explained this in the email I sent to you. We're done here. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> We're done? What, what is it about my, my credentials that, that doesn't impress you? I need to partner with an Alan, not a Larry or a Tom. What does that even mean? It means thank you, and have a great rest of your day, and enjoy the rest of the semester. I...
I said I was retired. Oh, but thank you. Post-war Romania tour. Who needs that garbage made the genius of American cinema? While Alan was most definitely a male, I'm very open to the prospect of a female Alan. Some feminine energy to balance the yin to my yang. Thank you. What are your qualifications? I'm an NYU film school grad with an MFA in directing from CalArts. I also have an MBA from USC. I've directed 30 short films and four feature films, all of which I've placed in festivals. And I also run my own film equipment rental business. And I'm just looking to collaborate with someone new who has producing expertise. Yes, I think you make a great Alan, perhaps Alana. Excuse me? No, my name's Lisa. No, no, no. I realized perhaps that requirement was a bit too stringent. I'm willing to relax my criteria if you're willing to go with the name Alana instead of Lisa. You want me to change my name? My name's Lisa, not Alana. No, no, you don't change your name legally per se, but you most definitely are welcome to. You more go by it like a doing business as or an alias, what have you. Where were you going? I'm leaving this alternate universe that I've stumbled into. Fine, you don't have to go by the name Alana. Alice, Allison, Elisa, Anna? No. Why is it so hard? Being that you're the first actual Alan to show up, if you pass muster, you're in. Now tell me a little bit about yourself, Alan. Are you going to explain your qualifications or might have to divine them telepathically? Uh, uh well, I, I've been in database management for about seven years. I'm not really sure I'm in the right place right now. Database what? What does it have to do with filmmaking? Uh, nothing. I was told I was coming here to interview for a, uh, a database administrator position. My, my job recruiter sent me. Do you even read the ad? Do you even know why you're here? Okay, listen. I'm getting a little desperate right now. Your actual name is Alan, and I really need Alan. So if you meet the minimum criteria, I'll make an exception. Have you ever made a film? No, but I have seen plenty. That's not what I'm asking. Have you ever directed a narrative, short, or feature film? I think a documentary is boring as they are. But you mentioned one thing about post-war Romanian cinema. You're automatically disqualified. No, I'm not a filmmaker. Have you ever made a home video? Yes, yes I have. Uh, and Instagram stories? Yes, now we're getting somewhere. Have you ever held a camera? Yeah, once uh, it was my brother's. Was it a cinema camera or a DSLR or a prosumer camcorder? Do you know what a DSLR is? I have no idea. Okay, who's your favorite director? Uh, uh, Martin Kubrick? What, you mean Stanley Kubrick or Martin Scorsese? Uh, uh, Stanley Scorsese. Okay, that's enough. You failed the audition. Come back when you read at least one book on filmmaking and can cite at least one director as an influence. Uh, I could be your intern. I need a film partner, not an intern. Well, we will need one eventually, but in any case, I need a directing genius to match my prowess as a producer. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Uh, do you want my resume? No. Well, it was a pleasure interviewing, and I hope you consider me for the database uh, administrator position, and I hope to hear back from you soon. Lordy. What does it take to find a good Alan in this business? Looks like I'm going solo. Alan, you really left me in a bind. Hello? Hi. You're here to audition for the role of New Alan? Yeah, you Frank? I am Frank Trauma. Stan Sheely. I am a highly qualified individual, as you can no doubt tell, and I think I'll be very well suited for your role. <laughs> Stan. Another non-Allen. Nope, not an Allen. I'm a Stan. This is going to go swimmingly, I can tell. You think so? I've thought that same thing too ever since I booked it here from Vegas after seeing your hat. And uh, if you just give me a chance to audition for you, I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. Well, what could it hurt? Well, Couldn't hurt anything. Let me show you what I got. All Where's right, let's do it. First off, what happened to you? You look like you piss off a pack of angry goats or your face doubled to someone's speed bag.
Well, I guess you could say that's exactly what happened. I mean, I pissed off the wrong people. And you know what my motto is? Never piss off the wrong people. I broke my own motto. You see, I'm an expert card player, except for blackjack and spades and hold'em. But my big break is coming. Anyway, these guys, I owed them about $75,000, and I couldn't pay it. And so one of them cracked me across the jaw, so I got kind of this permanent jaw to the left thing going on. The other one hobbled my leg, so I got kind of a stiff leg thing going on my right leg. Anyway, my big break is coming. You know, what can you do? You make the best of things. You make the best of things. It happens to everybody, right? And secondly, Sheely... Like Alan Sheely, my old film partner? Your old film partner, Alan Sheely. He's the third cousin on my mom's side. In fact, I've been wondering what his head has been doing on this cardboard cutout you have. Well, that's for visualization purposes, but you're related to old Alan. Well, I wasn't really close with him growing up. You see, my mom died in the hospital when I was born. Brain aneurysm during childbirth? No, she died of shame upon seeing me. But, you know, you make the best of things. You make the best of things. It happens to everybody. What can you do, right? <laughs> you seem okay. I mean, at least you're semi-related. You see, your name is Stan. I need an Alan, not a Stan. Well, if it's any consolation, my middle name is Alan Stan. Alan Sheely, that's me. Alan is actually a very popular name in our family. You know what? I think it's my work. Great. Congratulations, you're my new film partner. Excellent. Film partner's fist bump. High fives are a thing of the past. I can fist bump? Now. Standard prank. We're going to be famous, pal. I think so. But first, we have to raise some film for Lead the way. Here we go.